hit the subscribe button. Or don't. I really don't care one way or the other. Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, if you can read, you know what it's about. If you can't read, well, what we got here is the new Pandora Box EX 3301 game cart. Now, if you follow my videos, you know, not too long ago I got, you know, another Pandora Box cart. Kind of just like a newer version of something that was already released. I think within the same year. Uh... Found out about this one, and I had to get it. It's supposed to be much, much better. Guess we'll find out, but let's go ahead and take a look. See what we got inside. <clears throat> Standard packaging. Of course, this is the family version. What that means is basically you can hook it up to your TV. Nice lime green color. Pandora Box EX right there. Nice. Family version. Let's go ahead and put this down and get a look at it. <clears throat> when I was shopping for my uh, Challenger, I was looking and hoping to get it in the color like this. Uh, it didn't happen. Alright, I mean, you know, it's your typical stuff here. Alright, let's see. Update more new functions. What do we got here? Supports game save load state. Blah, blah, blah. Auto store the game ranking high score when you exit the game. Okay. Do, do, do. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Select three game, 3D games and three and four player games. Just a little change of search engine. Got your resolution settings. We'll uh, go ahead and uh, change the, the custom button mapping. Someone had requested this. I'll make sure to do it. Same stuff here and there. And I'll do what I did last time. I'll load this up. You know, continue this video with all the games that are shown. Of course, I don't make any changes. I don't put any, you know, upscalers. I, I don't change the buttons on my joystick. It's just, you get what you get. More words. Interesting. Yeah, if you want to connect it to your computer, etc. We are going to connect it to the TV, but there we are. So let's go ahead and get to the next step. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this sucker on. Take a look at the loading screen. Someone is whistling outside. It's very annoying. Oops, a little too much. Right there should do. Alright, as you can see, something a little bit newer. Again, this is 3300 in one, so they took some games away. Probably a lot of the clones, hopefully a lot of the clones. But let's go into the settings. Where are we? Where's that button? Now, luckily, they finally took out that background music 
for when you get to the settings. And the settings are pretty much the same. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the built-in speakers. All right, now, Somebody had uh, requested to learn how to button map on your Pandora box. So let's go with it. I got my controller. Now my controller, my stick is a six button setup. There are no buttons. Um, well, geez, I guess you can say button four and eight are missing depending on how you want to go about it. Custom button. All right, so. I already uh, did this before just to make sure everything worked out the, you know, the way it should, but let's just go to show you how it's done. So you can see on um, player one and player two, for player one, you hold down the start button for three seconds. Player two, you hold down the start button for three seconds. Now, if you still have issues with button mapping, you might actually have to change the wires on your buttons. In other words, Maybe move the wires from button A to button F or button E to button G, depending on how you want to go about it. But for the most part, let's just press start three seconds. All right, please set the button in the game, button A. So on my controller, on my joystick, the top rows are B, C, and D. The bottom row is A, E, F. So actually on my controller this is kind of what it looks like this is the way it's mapped out traditionally on my uh, joystick so let's just say you know I wanted to go with that we're back here you can see it's kind of a Neo Geo style for A, B, C, and D. Now, if I wanted to play Street Fighter, you know, with this button set up, I'd be using um, red, orange, and green for punch, and then blue, white, and pink for kicks. And as you can see, not too good. Because I didn't set G and F or G and H, it just set it for me, but... I want traditional six button Street Fighter layout. So hold, oops, didn't hold long enough, my mistake. There we go, button A, button B, button C, D, E, F. Press start to save and return. And there we are, all done. All right, so we got our game settings again. You know, not much difficulty, lives, edit the game list, etc. Not really too much to go on. Bookkeeping, I don't know why you would want to do that. System configuration, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Free play on, menu, exit game mode, menu exit. Pause menu is on. Exit game mode. I like this. Hold one player start for three seconds. Auto exit three minutes. Okay, select game mode always. Quality optimization on, scan line, scanning line off. I usually mess around with these if I want to play the games for myself, but for viewing purposes, we're just going to leave it as is. All right, save settings and reboot. Save settings, yes. This is probably gonna be a 25 minute video, maybe longer. All right, so let's look at the games here. Go ahead and turn up the volume here. Tekkens, these are your 3D games. Ah, for you Tekken fans out there, Tekken 5, Tekken 6, oh, 
This should be good. I'm thinking these are PlayStation versions of the of the games. Okay. Interesting. Hey, there you go. Something for you Final Fantasy boys. Wait, what's Oh, 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 what do we got there? <laughs> My daughter loves Mario Kart. She'll play the first Mario Kart to the most recent one. That is her series. Look at that, Sega Rally. Okay, now we're talking. Of course, playing with a joystick. Third Strike, New Generation. Of course, I'm gonna have to try that one. All right, let's just look at the rest of the game. Some of the other games, of course, a bunch of Street Fighter, Street Fighters, King of Fighters. Vampire Hunter, nice. Vampire Savior 2, okay. All right, I'm gonna have to try that one, Survival Arts. Of course, a lot of these are clones slash updated versions, you know, newer ROM sets. One of the ones I like to play a lot. <clears throat> so far, nothing too, too new. All seems pretty much the same. Maybe it just uh, emulates the games better, this newer system. Wonder if the sound is finally fixed on aliens. Saw Moonwalker over there. Golden Axe, always a classic. All right, I'm gonna have to try this one. I don't know what it is, but it looks fun as hell. Uh, what else we got here? Rampage, hey. Man, I used to play the hell out of that back in the day. That was a game where a quarter could last you a long, long time depending on how good you were. Even if you sucked, it could last you pretty much a long time. Oh, 
that looks fun. Okay. Polax too. All right. Rhoda. Not the Avengers I was thinking of. Alien 3, the gun. I always wanted a dedicated cabinet. Very hard to find, and they usually go for quite a bit of money. Why do they include this one? Why? faster here just so we can get through this list. We're already probably at the 15 minute mark in this video. Nothing, you know, too, too big that's standing out. How in the hell is that Batman? I do not know. Ah, Fantasy Zone. Okay. Cotton. <sighs> Gotta get situated in my bed here. Okay, that looks interesting. I have to give that one a shot. Afterburner 2. Okay, yeah, nice. Be great if there was a joystick, you know, like a, a plane, a fighter stick, whatever. Never mind, you know what I'm trying to say. My favorite Neo Geo games of all time. Another one of my favorite Neo Geo games of all time. I don't think we need that annoying noise. Got some Tetris going on here. Columns. Played the hell out of, the, out of that game back in the day. Specifically on my Game Gear. Interesting. Nightmare in the Dark. That game usually goes for a very high price, if I'm correct.
all puzzle games. I'm really not it too into puzzles. Hmm. Genesis versions of games, possibly? Yep, it's got to be Genesis. Captain Planet, Shinobi 3. Hmm, Indiana Jones, might have to try that one out. Bonkers! Who remembers Bonkers? That looks like crap compared to the original Strider. Bible Adventures. That is basically Super Mario 2. Adam's Family, okay. I think we're getting into the NES games, possibly. SNES? Hard to say. Sports. A cricket. They made a cricket game. All right. A little less than a thousand to go. I know it's a long video, but I'd rather do it this way than make multiple videos. God, I love Area 88. Matt, okay, <laughs> definitely gotta try that one. Fantastic game. Mertoid. I haven't played the original Metroid in, jeez, I don't know how long. Zelda? Really? Alright, we're getting towards the end here. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see some of the games that they took out. Not quite really sure why, but oh well. 
So, here we are, coming to the end. Three and four player games. But there you are. The Pandora Box EX 3301. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>